Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. You can see Rios, the veteran, six years on Mayweather. Size advantage for Mayweather, plus the 72-inch reach compared with the 66-inch reach of Rios. And Gil Clancy, let's take a look at the punch stats. Well, you can see with the punch stats that uh, Mayweather lands more punches, he throws more punches, and has a better percentage. He has an edge in every, every department. And for the rules tonight, our international fight judge, Julie Letterman. Mayweather Rios is once again scheduled for 12 rounds using the same rules, the unified rules of boxing commission. There is no standing A count, no three knockdown rules. Only the referee can stop the fight and cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And once again, in case an accidental foul does cause the fight to be stopped, you go to the scorecards after the fourth round has been completed. Kevin. All right, Julie, thank you. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Mark Biro, for the official introductions. And gentlemen, from the Van and Dell Arena in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Incorporated in association with Budweiser, the undisputed, undefeated King of Beers, this buzz for you presents Title Night on TNT, main event of the evening, 12 rounds for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Ring officials assigned by the World Boxing Council President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor in Attendance, Mario Letrovic. Your judges at ringside are from Argentina, Luis Guzman, from Mexico, Iacio Perez, and from Redford, Michigan, Bob Watson. Your referee for this event from Clarkston, Michigan, the very able Dale Grable. Introducing now the principals first in the blue corner to my left, wearing the blue and white sequin trunks, weighing 129 pounds. His professional record reads 44 victories, two defeats, one draw, and 29 wins coming by way of knockout. El hijo de Santa Fe, Argentina, and the challenger, Carlos Rios. Wearing the black trunks, he weighs 130 pounds. He is undefeated in 19 professional bouts. 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Grand Rapids, the 1996 U.S. Olympian, and proclaimed the 1998 Fighter of the Year by both KO Magazine and the prestigious Ring Magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, the WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather, 12 rounds for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Gentlemen, you're giving your instructions in the dressing room. Listen to my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. God bless. You. 21 year old Floyd Mayweather Jr., 27 year old Carlos Rios. Gil, what do you look for early in this one? Well, you know, Mayweather is a fast starter. Uh, he just makes him out try to overwhelm Rios right away. And Rios is an experienced guy. He's brought a lot of tough guys. Uh, he could give a good account of himself. Shane? Well, I think for to start off just boxing him up, uh, you know, giving the fans something to look at, um, possibly stop him in the early rounds. And here we go from Grand Rapids. A quick left by Mayweather. And another one, and he's got Rios Pat Beverly. Mayweather so fast. I don't think Rios is going to get a chance to do anything. That was not a knockdown. He just lost his balance. It was thrown down, actually, by Floyd. The 
You know, Gil, this has got to be extremely intimidating for Rios to come into this building, which is so pro Mayweather. Absolutely. That's what I was thinking when I had that ovation for Mayweather. Guys all the way up here from Argentina. Rios has never been in the United States for a significant amount of time. Drew from Buenos Aires to Grand Rapids. From Santa Fe, Argentina. Started boxing at the age of 18 at the urging of his uncle. Before that, he was a great soccer player. You just see Rios is already giving Floyd Jr. a lot of respect. Mayweather, of course, born and raised here in Grand Rapids, and he said boxing here was not a distraction. And preparing for this fight, not a distraction. Well, I'm sure that he's a little tight now, trying to, trying to really look good in front of the hometown folks. I never preferred my guys to be under that pressure. On those 96 games in Atlanta, Mayweather is the first U.S. Olympian to win a world title. On the bronze medal. We have the 96 games in Georgia. Back and forth they go as Rios trying to get in. Oh, and he got him at the right. Rios comes out of the corner. And there's some pretty good solid punches, Rio's did. But Mayweather really has excellent defense. He uh, blocked a lot of those in the arms. Rio has to get those two. He's boxed all over the world. This will be his 48th fight. 44. Well, they said he was a brawler. He's brawling now. Who caught him with a nice uppercut left? Mayweather's talking to him. He's talking Spanish, that's what we have to know. <laughs> <laughs> because Rios doesn't spit a lick of English. Good body shot by Mayweather. Is... Coming up on Friday night, it's a doubleheader on TNT Game 1. Phoenix against Detroit. Lakers hosting the Spurs in Game 2 as Rios comes out strong in the second round. Well, again, he got the book on him that he was a brawler on a body punch. Look at him go with Mayweather! Snap, snap, snap. I think that's what Rios real, real has to do to get anything done with Mayweather. He can't sit out there and box with him. You're exactly right, James. He's got, to, he's got to brawl, try to make it into that kind of a match. Not going to outbox him. Mayweather tonight with his second title defense wants to defend it 26 times to be the record of Joe Lewis and now he's got him on the ropes again. He has a show on some of his experience though. Not being overwhelmed by Mayweather up to this point. Mayweather looks so much bigger than Rios. Well, actually, he's a 130-pounder. Rios is a natural 26-pounder. But still, Rios is strong, and he is dangerous with those wide shots he's throwing. Rios coming at Mayweather. You know, it's tough to fight an awkward guy, as you know, Shane. The guy that's swinging like that, you don't know where to and also, Mayweather have to be careful about those headbutts. Because yeah. oh, Rios is a lot smaller, and he comes in with his head. Let's change it here now, and a flurry as Mayweather lost his balance. And Rios comes charging right back at him. Good body shot by Mayweather. Hemmed in the corner, punching his way out is Rios. When he's not boxing, delivers ice in his native Santa Fe, Argentina. Would someday like to own a farm? 
Two, two, the right. two looping right hands he landed on Floyd's chin. He's, he's laughing at Shane Mosley over here. You better pay attention to Rios. You forget Shane for the moment. There's body shots. Good body shots by Mayweather. One and two, and there he goes. The combination left and right. Mayweather's got the advantage. Back and forth they go with the flurry to end the second round. Take a look at the flurry to end the second round. Oh, it's just an absolutely great flurry. Rios really came to take that title back to Argentina. He's trying. Not a bad round for Rios, and round two landed 20 of 57. Merriweather landed, Mayweather landed 33 of 58 shots. Well, I've, I've given uh, Mayweather both rounds, but uh, Rios is a dangerous guy. Rios is very tough. He took a shot there with the left hand. That, you know, uh, Floyd is a 21-year-old kid. He's not fully mature as far as I'm concerned. Rios is 27 years old, and he's solid. Mayweather trains in the same Grand Rapids gym that his father once trained in years ago. And his dad is in the corner. I think Mayweather is trying too hard for the knockout, and maybe it's not coming quick enough. Well, that's what happens when you're fighting for your hometown folks. And you really want to make an impression. Also, it could be dangerous because this guy is throwing heads and overhand rights. You don't know what's coming at you. Mayweather had not seen any of Rios, and he got with it with the left and a right, and another left right there. He had not seen Rios until tonight. And Shane, that's got to be difficult. Very difficult. I think Mayweather will adjust and uh, take care of business. Well, he's starting to calm down now a little bit, using that left jab a little bit more. He has that good left hook to the body. He wins it in so good. again is going to slide along the ropes. Well, Floyd is uh, being a little cautious, thinking that Rios, Rios is going to throw one of those rallies again from nowhere. See him jabbing and stepping back, being a little cautious, which is a smart thing to do with a, with a little bull like this guy. Bull is right. He is going head first, it seems, into everything. Speaking of Rios. But we also need to get back to his brawling tactics because I don't think he can outbox me with him. So quick, my lord. Very flexible. It's very adroit inside the ring. Winding down her third round. the grandmother of Floyd, Bernice Mayweather, and his dad, Floyd Sr., manages and trains him. Pro career hit it, seen it, with a rugged nine-round loss to Sugar Ray Leonard back in 1978. Stop boxing. 1990, as you see, Carlos Rios from Argentina. And a lunging Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather just is very over anxious at the moment. He's got to calm down, use that left jab, use his boxing skills. The big punch will come by itself. In that third round after a solid second, Rios landed just three punches. Mayweather landed 17. And with the right there. Mayweather has so many uh, talents that he don't know which one to use next. He's spinning on him, throwing punches from everywhere. I mean, he, want, he really wants to get this guy out of there. Well, Rios with a couple of shots. And uh, Rios reminds me of Gene Coleman. Throws a right hand and the head right behind him. <laughs> Yeah. 
nice combination by Rios. Hook to the body, hook to the chin. Oh, caught him with the left there. The punch was blocked, I think. Rios comes at him. Mayweather, not only his dad was a boxer, but his uncles were boxers too, and champions. So it truly is a family affair. Caught him with an uppercut there. And he tells us he'll stay at this weight. He does not want to get, he wants to stay at this weight. Sugar Shane is kind of interesting, because I think you two would look pretty good in that ring. I think so. <laughs> And look, but Miller, he's so fast and quick, uh, just like I. And uh, but he says he wants to stay at 130 and you know get get a win the title. I mean, defend it 26 times. So look at Rios. Rios wants it. He comes back out at Mayweather. I tell you, Rios has got his respect because he backs Rios into a corner and he's too slow getting off. He's afraid of the counter punch. Well, I know. And he's a lot smaller too. Mayweather against Carlos Rios, our international fight judge, Julie Letterman. Julie, how do you have it? 40 to 36, Floyd Mayweather. Winning this fight easily with clean punching, very effective, and keeping him off even with just a jab in some rounds will keep this guy off. Now, with the head of Rios, the referee has warned him earlier and just went in the corner in between rounds and told Rios, watch that head. So this could be some points taken away if he keeps leading in with that head, like Shane mentioned. Rios now, and here comes a Floyd trying to fight out of the corner. They both landed right hands to the chin during that exchange. This is the round Floyd Sr. says he's going to turn his son loose on him. And he told you round five, didn't he? He told me round five. I just got in on the chin again. And yeah, the punch is thrown. Almost half the shots thrown by Mayweather have landed. Shot. Mayweather's doing an excellent job of dissecting this guy. Oh, good body shot. Rios is tough though, isn't he? That is pretty. Very tough guy. He's very tough, but he can't keep taking those type of shots. Not by Mayweather. Those are out there. Those are the kind of punches that the, the punch of Rios missed. He does not allow Floyd to take chances. But he's always winging. Freeze the punching. Good body shot. going through Mayweather's mind right now, Shane. Well, I think he's saying to himself, what's keeping this guy up? <laughs> he wants to hit him with that good, that, that perfect shot so the crowd can just scream like that one right there. Let's hook. Got him with the left. Rios was phased by that one. Punch up, punch up, punch up. Comes in with another left. That was the best punch in the fight that sure never yeah. took. And it did, it did not wobble Rios. <laughs> Round five is coming to an end. It's TNT title night. Mayweather and Rios after this. They feel here in Grand Rapids, the hometown of champion Floyd Mayweather. There's his mom, Jeannie Orr, his nephew, little seven-year-old Javon. Round six. Gil, how do you see it? So well, I've, I've given Floyd every round, but the other guy is competitive. I mean, he's throwing punches, but not with the skill or the speed that Floyd is throwing. So 
buddy Sugar Shane Mosley. This thing has gone one more round and Mayweather thought he's got Rios in the corner with a flurry of shots to right. Mayweather like he's ready to take him out right now. He's really putting those combinations together. Rios is tiring though. Well, he doesn't look that tired as yet. I think maybe maybe they need to take some of the sting off those punches and throw more combinations instead of uh, one punch power shots. The combinations have worked tonight for him, haven't they? Yes, they have. Rios comes in with a nice left. Rios has just about stopped punching now. See, he's trying to get himself loose. Yep. He goes head first once again into Mayweather. Mayweather looks very fresh to me. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's not really being challenged as much uh, right now. And uh, Ooh, with the left. And he's gathering. And his senses now he's just moving what he's supposed to do instead of trying to take the guy out. The knockout to come. That's exactly right. Just stick that jab out, throw those short punches. The big one will come. Put it right here. A little straight right in. Bricks to the clean guys. To the clean. Again, you see Floyd, he's not exactly just walking in there. He's very smart. Well, I think he's being cautious about those head butts. He comes in with his head first. Final seconds of round six. Six down and six to go. TNT title night from Grand Rapids. Champion Floyd Mayweather Jr., the defending WBC super featherweight. Against the challenger, Carlos Rios, we're in round seven. Punches thrown in that sixth round, and again, Mayweather well above 50% of his shots, hitting Rios. Landed as many punches as Rios threw. As you can see, Mayweather's starting to work the body a lot more. I think, he went, I think he went to take away Rios' air. Oh, Rios comes back with a nice right. Oh, a left hook, too. Yep, he got him. Mayweather predicted round five. It would be over. We are in round seven. Bill, what do you see? Oh, good left hook by Rios. And, and again, uh, Floyd is fighting a guy that made, he made Floyd respect him. So Floyd's just, not just walking right through him. It's like opening, opening a can of sardines. You can see Floyd just isn't letting his hands go now. Trying to set something up that's safe. Stop punching! Stop punching! Sometimes, Sometimes when you're know. surprised at a bout like this, do you, do you change strategy? Do you with sure. that aggressiveness? That's what's happened to, to Floyd in this fight. Up to the moment. I think he's trying to figure out why this guy hasn't went down yet. He hit him to the body, he hit him to the head. What, is, what else is there to do? Another straight right hand to the body. Again. Straight right hand to the head. There he goes. Looks like he's a little hurt. Rios tries to charge out. Mayweather's got him on the ropes. Just with an uppercut. Very good shit right here, somebody. He may have he may have Rios a little bit hurt right now. I think the body shots got to him. I think the straight right hands to the body is really doing a lot of damage. There's his father and his trainer, Floyd Sr. 
Longtime boxer himself. And the father and son couldn't be closer. This guy's making Floyd do these kind of things that normally he shouldn't be doing. He's getting out of his game. There's another shot right here to the body. He's really finding a home for that body shot. Mayweather coming in. Rios lost his footing, but that's it. There's Mayweather in the front. And he comes up with a right hand lead right on the button. Mayweather in that seventh landed as many power shots as Rios through total punches. Fine judge here is Julie Letterman and Julie, how do you have him through seven? Seven very, very one-sided fighting. 70 to, to 63. Old Floyd Mayweather just landing every textbook punch in boxing, and this guy is just standing up and not doing anything. Uh, the referee Dale Grable did come over to me and, and say that the cut is was caused by a punch, so we won't have to worry about any, any kind of going to score cards or. If the fight is stopped on that cut that Rios has, looks like right in his eyelid, then Mayweather wins the fight. Shane, what do you do when you're about like this? You're heavily favored and you're struggling into round eight. Well, I think for Mayweather, he needs to do basically the same thing, but be cautious of that head when the guy lunges in just on the spur of the moment. Mayweather told us he would go five rounds. We are in round eight. Gil, what do you see? I see that he respects the other guy. He doesn't want to take too many chances. He's fighting a smart fight, winning every round. Right there at the left. The is hitting Mayweather behind the head with what he thought when he wins us overhand right hands. Good right hand by Rios. Yeah, he is landing some of these right hand shots. I mean. Again, Mayweather, when Rios does miss his little bounce, he's not jumping in quick enough to take advantage of the openings. No, you're right, though. He's like a bull out there, is it? Right. Oh, he caught him with the right there. Body punches following from Rios. More body punches by Mayweather. Beautiful shots to the body. Ooh, he caught him with a left on the chin. Oh, good right hand by Mayweather. Looks like he's ready to go. And here he comes now. The combination has been his best attack at Rios tonight. In the final seconds of round eight, Mayweather unloading on Rios. A very interesting round, Shane Mosley. Yes, it was. I mean, he threw uh, some great combinations in that round. I still think if you take a little stick off the punches, he can uh, rally up a lot of punches and maybe the possibly the referee will stop the fight. So then that's your strategy right now. You take yes. something off. Yeah, because the guy is taking a beating with all the, these hard shots. And, I mean, he had the guy hurt and rocked. Yeah. Well, Shane is right. He can't throw combinations if he's trying to get the guy out there with one shot. What he should do is just put them together. Like that. Okay. Just round the next round. Okay. He'll be at that game team. Okay. okay? Give me a round. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, only the third time he's gone beyond the eighth round. Well, you know, it, it could be significant to, to close a fight, but it's so one-sided. And uh, Rios did not come out of his corner full of confidence for sure. Mayweather with his second defense of his WBC Super Featherweight title. 
Decent round in uh, round eight for Rios. 17 of 44 punches. Great round for Floyd. 62% of his punches land. And he's got him in the corner again. Body shots. Let's do it. Rios is wobbling. And then pulls him down right back into the ropes. Body shot by Mayweather. Total punches, 53% have landed. Rios is taking a beating. And now he comes, and a left is landed by Mayweather. He has one there. Good left hook. Now right up the front the left hook. He may have Rios here. Another left, left hook. Yep. Mayweather really moves business. I think he really wants to get this fight over with. He doesn't want this fight to go the distance. Body shots by Mayweather. Combination by Rios. Good right hand by Rios. Rios is taking a beating. Still punching back though, Kevin. Then a good, pretty good solid right hand. Still there punching. Rios' hands are down. Mayweather can smell it. He's got him in the corner. You know, I think Mayweather's breaking him down terrifically with those body shots. Right and left body shots. I can see Rios weakening. Slower, he went up against the ropes moments ago and seemed to welcome the chance to get the, the weight off his legs. Good so way, you know. So uh, throwing yeah. punches. But he has so much heart, he's just swinging and giving it all he got. That's right. Terrific durability. Body shot there by Rios. And Mayweather has not gone this deep into a fight for a long time. I mean, he's got to get be getting tired as well as we finish round nine on TMT title night. Remember, he's only 21 years of age. The Mayweather trains very hard, so he could this to this. Second title defense for Floyd Mayweather. 19-0 coming in. Let's go to his corner. I ain't tired to say nothing. the first round. It's the first round. Let's go. Be real. In the ninth round, Gil Clancy working the body. Well, that, that's exactly what's been most effective for him. Here's that right hand to the body, left hook to the body. Right hand to the body, left hook to the body. That's what's been taking the down of Rios. He seems to have an iron chin. Mayweather landed 42 of 53 power shots, almost 80%. And he comes out with the right right there. Right hand to this is round 10. Twice as long as Mayweather said it would go. Left jabs. Combination. Going at him again. He's trying, Mayweather is trying to get him out of there, no question about that. Gotta keep the punches up. You okay? You okay? He took it below the belt. And so the capable Dan Grebel separates him. Rios needs a second here. Rios is doing a good job of acting. He is. His right eye is closing bit by bit, though. Another clean shot with the left. I think Rios is the story now. <laughs> To take this champion this deep in his hometown in his second title defense. Considering how, how great the Floyd looked uh, in winning the title and defending it. Still Floyd looks very fresh. 
They beat Hernandez in October 3rd in Las Vegas, then got Manfredi in Miami in December. Two, two excellent fighters. Sure. with their right and the left. Breaks the back queen. Is Mayweather getting tired? He may be. Watch that elbow. Watch that forearm. I think forearm. Mayweather's getting tired of hitting him. Yeah. <laughs> Everything he's throwing is landing. Then Rios comes back. Break. This corner's on. Try the uppercut. Try the uppercut. Mayweather's trying to make himself go now. Watch his legs. Trying to bounce and get going. And you hear the chance in his hometown of Floyd. Left jab. Seconds remain in round 10. Rios fights his way out of the corner again. We go to round 11, and I would say this is a surprise. Yes, it is. I think that by Floyd trying to knock him out, I think that uh, caused him not to knock him out. Gil, I, I agree with him. We would train because uh, he tried so hard. And you can't knock guys out with one punch. I'm going to go out and knock him out. It has to come by itself. You have to stick to what you do in the gym every single day. You see that the much more experienced Rios is, is tapping that experience and, and really fighting a very smart fight. Well, he, yes, he knows just when to throw punches. Here he's trapped in the corner. He pulled a couple of punches to get himself out of there. He's using all of his experience. Rios has never been a champion. But he has a 44-2-1 record. And tonight, going up against the vaunted WBC super featherweight champ Floyd Mayweather Jr. in his hometown in front of 13,000 plus here at the Van Elden Arena. And Rios can come out of his corner this round with a determined look on his face. He's behind 10 rounds to nothing in my scorecard, so he had to perform a miracle to win this fight. But that's not the way Mayweather wanted this handle. He wanted to knock him down. Yeah, I think he wanted to at least knock him out around the fifth round. Rios got a clean shot to the chin of Mayweather. And another one. That's out, that's out. And another one. Close the hand he put up there. I think Mayweather wanted to put on a boxing exhibition now. He's starting to slip the slide and, and uh, move out the way. with a little uppercut there. Rios truly put by a shot. Another body shot by Mayweather. That's called, that's causing Rios to hold a lot. But you can't argue with the strategy. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Guys like you don't like to see it, but for a guy like Rios, it's what's keeping him in there. Well, the thing is, he's not in there. He's not in the fight to stay in there. He's in there to win. And the only thing he has to do now is knock him out. Uh, you know, lucky hit, a lucky uh, a Hail Mary. Left jab thrown by Mayweather. And a right throw. Body shot by Mayweather. Rios on the ropes, and Rios fighting back with a nice left. Ooh, I'm clean right. Taking target practice now. Body shot. Mayweather. Oh, he got him with the clean straight right. Hit a left. Rios has some heart. 
They're going to fight back. The heart of a champion for Carlos Rios from Santa Fe, Argentina. Straight right, right, yep, straight right to the chin. Another one. A lot of direct shots. A left. Again, and that will end the 11th round. Let's quickly go to Craig Sager. Well, obviously a big night for the whole Mayweather family. This is where they all began, the matriarch of the family, Floyd's grandmother, Bernice. What about this night, and what about this tough opponent he's in the ring? He ain't got a kind of tough pony, but you know what? He's doing a lot of holding, too. The pony doing a lot of holding. And he, you know, if he's doing a lot of holding, he can't get off like he wanted, but he's still winning. Congratulations on a great night for the whole family. Let's go back to Kevin. All right, thank you. There were some big shots thrown by Floyd Mayweather in that 11th round. Gil? Well, let's take a look. He slips. He slips that right in, and then he goes back, bang, right on the button. And he, and he did buckle Rios' knees. He comes later in the round. You see Rios with that experience trying to bob a lead, but he got nailed with a couple of stoppers. It's the 12th round of championship fight on TNT title night. Carlos Rios and Floyd Mayweather Jr. In that 11th, 31 of Mayweather's 36 connected with power shots. And you can feel at ringside. And Rios is still trying. He's got that puffy right eye. Mayweather is unscathed. And you know Mayweather, the defending champ, would love to finish him off here in a flurry. Right. Great, right. Both blocked those. He may have him now in the corner. Goodbye shot. Goodbye shot. Step back. Step back from Both headshots were blocked. But the body shot was a good shot. Now, oh, got him with the right. He turned his off on him with the right hook. He's playing with him now. Hey, where they is. Rios beginning to bleed inside. The bridge of his nose on the left. And he got him again with another right. Good left. I, I think he turned. Rios, Rios landed a pretty good left foot. Still winging. Well, I, I don't think a lot of his punches have lost a lot of velocity. What courage he had. Look at, look at, he's still trying. Stumbling all over himself. How he is up, I do not know. Mayweather has a better legs. I think he's turned his southpaw to give him a different look, and he's been very successful with the right hook. Now he's back turned around again. I think the challenger just wants to survive the, survive the round. Yeah. And well, he's still throwing punches, though, Shane. There's combinations by Mayweather. Those are short punches you were talking about, Shane. Oh, yeah, that we got him out a lot earlier. You don't have to put too much on him. It's nice and accurate. He has had a high percentage of his shots land on Rios, so Rios has taken so much and come out with an occasional good shot of his own. Still firing. What, what courage on this Argentine man. Another connects to the jab. Seconds remaining in our 12th and final round. The official decision is coming up. A heroic effort by Argentinian Carlos Rios against champion Floyd Mayweather.
Is your dandruff sending the wrong signals? Epsom Blue Shampoo to help keep your dandruff from sending the wrong signals. And by Western Union Money Transfer, the fastest way to send money worldwide. This Sunday night at 8 o'clock, don't miss the world premiere of the TNT original Passing Glory, starring Emmy Award winner Andre Brown. People Magazine says Andre Brower gives an electric performance produced by Magic Johnson and Quincy Jones. It's passing war exclusively on TNT. For the decision, let's go up to the ring and answer, Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Luis Guzman scores it 120-110. Judge Bob Watson scores it 119-108. And Judge Heasio Perez scores it 120-109 to the winner and WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather. Let's take a look at the punch stand numbers. We were giving you them throughout the bout, but you can see almost 60% of his punches landed, Gil Clancy. Well, he landed, he landed more than double the punches that Rios landed in the fight, and his punches were the cleaner, sharper, and harder. Let's go to our international fight judge, Julie Letterman. Julie, I, I take it you were right on target. Oh, yeah, this wasn't too tough. I think everyone here is in agreement. 120-108 Floyd Mayweather. As Gil said, he landed the cleaner punch and he moved forward. He moved side to side. He go a few body shots, tried for the head. Just beautiful performance by Floyd Mayweather. Thank you, Julie. Inside the ring now to Craig Sager. Well, Floyd, you put the world title on the line in your hometown of Grand Rapids. You gave him a great show, but the guy wouldn't go down. How tough a opponent was he? Well, um, you can't knock everybody out, but I'm just happy with the win tonight, and I appreciate everybody in Grand Rapids, Michigan, for supporting me. Everybody all over America that believed in Floyd Mayweather when nobody else did, and I also want to thank my grandmother, Bernice Mayweather, and I want to thank Team Mayweather for being behind me and supporting me. You obviously had the crowd behind you, but there was a lot of pressure fighting in your hometown. Did you feel the pressure? Were you over-anxious in the early rounds? Well, I'm glad it went 12 rounds so I can show the people all over the world that Floyd Mayweather can't go the distance and he got um I got a lot of experience under my belt you know for having a lot of amateur fights um Carlos Real was a very tough opponent um he came to fight and that's what I wanted tonight all right Floyd Sr you said he'd be going down in the fifth round were you surprised it went the distance we let him go the distance no Real is a real good fight he's a tough fighter strong most Argentinians are very very strong and he's a very doable fighter and uh, we take a take a hat off to him. He gave his best. It was a great night for the entire town of Grand Rapids, probably the biggest sporting event here ever, but also for the Mayweather family. And um, I just want to thank TNT for having me on. I want to thank everybody that supported Floyd Mayweather and believed in him. And um, like I said before, I want to I want to get 26 title defenses. So this was my second one. So I got 24 to go. You're down 24 to go. Congratulations. Let's go back to Kevin. All right, Craig. Thank you very much. We wrap up TNT.
let's take a look at the tail of the tape. You can see Rios, the veteran, six years on Mayweather. Presents title night on TNT, main event of the evening, 12 rounds for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Ring officials assigned by the World Boxing Council President Jose Suleiman, supervisor in attendance, Mario Letrovi. Your judges at ringside are from Argentina, Luis Guzman, from Mexico, Iacio Perez, and from Redford, Michigan, Bob Watson. Your referee for this event from Clarkston, Michigan, the very able Dale Grable. Introducing now the principal's first in the blue corner to my left, wearing the blue and white sequin trunks, weighing 129 pounds. His professional record reads 44 victories, two defeats, one draw, and 29 wins coming by way of knockout, El Hijo de Santa Fe, Argentina. And Size advantage for Mayweather plus the 72 inch reach compared with the 66 inch reach of Rios. And Joe Clancy, let's take a look at the punch stats. Well, you can see with the punch stats that uh, Mayweather lands more punches, he throws more punches, and has a better percentage. He has an edge in every, every department. And for the rules tonight, our international fight judge, Julie Letterman. Mayweather Rios is once again scheduled for 12 rounds using the same rules, the unified rules of boxing commission. There is no standing A count, no three knockdown rules. Only the referee can stop the fight, and he cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And once again, in case an accidental foul does cause the fight to be stopped, you go to the scorecards after the fourth round has been completed. Kevin. All right, Julie, thank you. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Mark Biro, for the official introductions. And gentlemen, from the Van and Dell Arena in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Incorporated in association with Budweiser, the undisputed, undefeated King of Beers. This fight's for you. Yes. 21-year-old Floyd Mayweather Jr., 27-year-old Carlos Rios. Gil, what do you look for early in this one? Well, you know Mayweather is a fast starter. Uh, he just make man try to overwhelm Rios right away. And Rios is an experienced guy. He's fought a lot of tough guys. Uh, he could give a good account of himself. Shane? Well, I think to uh, start off just boxing him up, you know, giving the fans something to look at. Um, possibly stopping him in the early rounds. And here we go from Grand Rapids. A quick left by Mayweather. And another one, and he's got... Rios Pat Beverly. Mayweather so fast. I don't think Rios is going to be a, to get a chance to do anything. That was not a knockdown. He just lost his balance. He was thrown down actually by Floyd. You know, Gil, this has got to be a 